Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Circus Games for the Nintendo Wii. Family Fest presents Circus Games, also known as Funfair Party in Europe, is a bad mini game collection. The game has a plot too. I mean, you get a context. I wouldn't call it I wouldn't call it necessarily a plot. So Jake and his family bought tickets to watch a circus for the night. And an evil ringmaster was about to start up a circus and wanted any character to test his games. So you take on mini games and get claps if you win and boos if you lose. There are 20 mini games in this mini game collection and the games are terrible. Some of them are counterintuitive, others are sloppy, and not only that the essence is sloppy, but the wrapping, the packaging, I mean the presentation is also bad, and you can see it right now in the video. Kokoto Magic Circus is the best game out of this list, and not because it's amazing, but because whereas the other games on this list are bad, this one is average. So yeah, it's the best out of the worst. It's a shooting gallery game. If you've played many Wii games or played at least one other shooting gallery game, you know how it goes. You point and click at the screen and shoot stuff. And you point and shoot in all of the 40 mini games. And 40 might sound like a big number, I mean, it sounds like the game is varied, but it isn't really because most of them are slight variations of the same handful of minigames. Also the game is very short, taking you around one hour to finish it. I know many Java games that are longer than one hour, but at least the presentation is excellent. Vibrant colors, fitting cell shaded graphics, but unfortunately the game isn't really something. It feels half-baked. What you get is good. Really good actually, I mean it's well executed, but the game needs more variety in order to feel complete. Ringling Bros and Barnum and Bailey Circus, called It's My Circus in Europe, is again a boring minigame collection. The game contains again 40 minigames and pretty much all of them are awful, at least in my opinion. The controls are sloppy in some games, clunky in others unresponsive in other minigames, and the presentation isn't that great either. To my eyes at least, some animations are lacking. The characters move like in a low quality animation, but maybe that's how the game was intended. I don't know. But what I know is that the gameplay is lousy. Even if by surprise the gameplay you see in the video appeals to you, you're most probably going to get bored by the game pretty fast since there isn't a story or anything to tie you, to keep you hooked. The plot is that a fun fair opens and you play minigames. Sounds good for a minigame collection, I mean it sounds decent, I can't lie, but for such a game to be good, the main part of the game, the minigames, have to be good, and in this game, they aren't. Playmobil Circus is another minigame collection. This time most of the games are responsive, but some aren't. But still, most of them are responsive, which is good compared to the other games. Oh, but, but the number of minigames is very low. There are 16 acts in this game. The presentation is good, but with such few content and occasional unresponsive controls in some of the minigames, the game turns from a decent one, or a potentially decent one, towards a rather mediocre game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.